Okay, this is our, our first tutorial in the use of Ninja Trader. And uh, for using Ninja Trader, the first thing we have to do is to set up some account connections. When we go to File, give me a sec, we go to File and Connect, you can see I, al I already have several connections. So uh, after you create a connection, it will appear over here. We are going to concentrate in three uh, account connections. We go to Tools, Account Connections, and in the pop-up, we click Add. OK. Next. We have to put a name on it. Let's say IB for interactive brokers. In provider, we select interactive brokers. We have the choice to choose uh, a previous created uh, data feed connection. In case uh, IB uh, goes down, it will switch to this uh, data feed to uh, allow us to keep uh, analyzing the market. So at, the mo at this moment, we don't choose anyone. So if we click over here in Connect on Startup, basically it will allow us uh, that uh, the software will uh, start up and connect. And uh, we want to, uh, we we won't need to uh, connect manually. So if you choose to do so, click on that. Next, let's change that. Next, and we have a, a, here a choice. We can uh, put our username and password. Uh, it says optional because if you only have one account with Interactive Brokers, you don't need to put any, anything over there. But if you have uh, several connections, it will be wise to identify each one. Uh, when you're trading, uh, it will know, the software will know where to route the orders and you will know in which account are routing the orders. So we are not going to put any to anything right now there. Click Next. And uh, this is the confirmation with all the data. And we should click Finish. I will click Cancel because I already have an Interactive Brokers connection. Uh, remember that when you are trading uh, in uh, with in Interactive Brokers, you need to start the TWS uh, station. If you don't do that, you won't be able to log into the uh, the Interactive Brokers. So you have to start the Trader Workstation first and then uh, connect to it from Ninja Trader. Okay, that was uh, for Interactive Brokers. If you're trading with Ameritrade, the process is pretty much the same with one minor exception. Let's say this would be TDA. Then we go to Provider and we click in TD Ameritrade. And you see here that you have the choice to use use TD Ameritrade service. That's the connection you, use, you should use. So we click on Next. And here uh, this is the second difference with Interactive Brokers. You are forced to put some username, your username account, and your password. Click on Next. This could be the, the confirmation. And when you click Finish, the, the account connection will be created. As you can see, I have both IB and Ameritrade. And one of the main uh, main advantages of Ninja Traders regarding uh, multi broker setup is that you actually can connect to several brokers at the same time. So you just go to File, Connect, and click in Ameritrade. You wait up until the connection is made, and you go again to File, Connect, and click in Interactive Brokers. And you can have several brokers at the same time from the same platform and trading at the same time in the in different different accounts in different brokers so if you have any doubt uh, send me an email or comment on the uh, youtube video and i'll get back to you as soon as possible